Janice Rule, an accomplished actress, left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. Born on August 15, 1931, in Norwood, Ohio, Rule's passion for acting began at a young age. She moved to New York City to study at the prestigious Actors Studio, where she honed her craft alongside notable actors such as Marlon Brando and James Dean. Throughout her career, Rule appeared in numerous classic films, including The Outrage and The Swimmer. She also made memorable guest appearances on popular TV shows such as Bonanza and the FBI Rule's talent for portraying complex characters with depth and nuance earned her critical acclaim and the admiration of her peers. Rule's personal life was as fascinating as her on-screen roles. She was married three times, including to renowned filmmaker Robert Altman. Despite facing personal challenges, Rule continued to act in both film and television, showcasing her versatility and dedication to her craft. In addition to her work in front of the camera, Rule was also a talented singer and dancer. She starred in several Broadway productions, including The Tender Trap and Pipe Dream. Her diverse skill set and dedication to her art made her a respected and admired figure in the entertainment industry. Janice Rule's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Her unforgettable performances in classic films and television shows serve as a testament to her talent and enduring impact on the industry. Janice Rule was an accomplished actress, known for her work in film and television. You may recall seeing her in The Swimmer, or on shows like Gunsmoke, and the FBI did Janice Rule leave a lasting impression on you with her performances. Perhaps you have a personal story about how this classic star has inspired or impacted your life. We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Janice Rule? Share your stories with us as we delve into the life and career of this talented actress, you'll discover many surprising and fascinating facts. From her early days on Broadway to her memorable film and television roles, Janice Rule left a mark on the entertainment industry. So, keep watching to learn more about this iconic actress and share your memories and stories with us. We can't wait to hear from you. Born in 1931 in Norwalk, Connecticut, Janice Rule was surrounded by creativity from an early age. Her father was a musician and her mother a painter. This artistic upbringing laid the foundation for her future career in acting. Janice's family moved to California when she was young, and it was there that she began her journey in the world of performing arts. She studied dance and, at the age of 15, won a scholarship to the prestigious School of American Ballet in New York City. However, a back injury forced Janice to abandon her dreams of becoming a professional dancer. She then turned to acting, studying at the renowned Actors Studio in New York. It was here that she met influential figures such as Lee Strasberg and Aaliyah Kazan, who became key mentors in her career. Janice's early exposure to the craft of acting came through her work in theater. She appeared in several Broadway productions, including The Trip to Bountiful and Picnic. These experiences helped her hone her skills and prepare for the transition to film and television. In the 1950s, Janice began to make her mark in Hollywood. She appeared in a number of classic films, such as The Outriders and The Naked Street. Her powerful performances and striking beauty quickly caught the attention of audiences and critics alike. Throughout her career, Janice continued to work with some of the most respected directors and actors in the industry. She was known for her versatility and her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. Despite facing personal challenges, including struggles with mental health, Janice remained a dedicated an accomplished actress until her retirement in the 1990s. Janice Rule, an accomplished actress, was born on August 15, 1931, in Norwood, Ohio. Her parents, Ruth and Sherman Rule, were both musicians, and they encouraged their daughter's interest in the arts. As a child, Rule studied ballet and piano, and she developed a love for acting. Rule's family moved to California when she was a teenager, and she began her acting career in the early 1950s. She appeared in several television shows and films, including The Outer Limits and The Three Faces of Eve. In 1958, Rule married actor Ben Gazzara, and the couple had two children together. Throughout her career, Rule was known for her versatility and her ability to portray complex characters. She appeared in a wide range of films and television shows, including The Chase, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, and Gypsy. In 1974, Rule married director Robert Altman, and she appeared in several of his films, including The Long Goodbye and Three Women. Rule's personal life was marked by tragedy. In 1976, her daughter, Elizabeth Gazzara, died in a car accident at the age of 16. Rule and Altman divorced. 
In 1978, and Rule retired from acting in the early 1980s. Despite her retirement, Rule's work continues to be celebrated. Her performances in films like The Swimmer and The Actress are considered classics, and she is remembered for her powerful and nuanced portrayals. Rule passed away on October 17, 2003, but her legacy lives on through her work and the impact she had on the film and television industry. As a young girl, Janice Rule was captivated by the magic of cinema. She would often accompany her mother to the movie theater, where she was enthralled by the powerful stories and vivid characters that came to life on the silver screen. It wasn't long before she discovered her own passion for acting and the art of storytelling. During her high school years, Rule's talent for drama became apparent. She participated in numerous school plays, consistently delivering memorable performances that left her teachers and peers in awe. Her infectious enthusiasm for the stage and her undeniable talent led her to pursue a career in acting. Rule's big break came in the form of a small role in the classic film The Outriders. Although her part was minor, she made a lasting impression on the film's director, and this opportunity opened the door to many more roles in both film and television. Throughout her career, Janice Rule continued to push the boundaries of her craft, taking on complex and diverse roles that allowed her to showcase her incredible range as an actress. Her unwavering dedication to her art and her ability to fully immerse herself in each character she played have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema and continue to inspire aspiring actors today. Janice Rule, an accomplished actress, made a significant decision early in her career. She turned down the lead femme role in the classic film on the waterfront opposite Marlon Brando. At the time, she was earning acclaim in the Broadway show Picnic and preferred the dramatic stage to the Hollywood studio system. Rule was uncomfortable with being promoted as a sex symbol, and this choice led to the loss of her Warner Brothers contract. Born at 5.15 a.m. Ed D.T., Rule had a connection to the film industry through her former brother-in-law, Dennis Sanders. Despite the controversy surrounding her decision, Rule remained dedicated to her craft and continued to make an impact in the industry. The actress's career was marked by her dedication to her roles and her refusal to be pigeonholed into a specific type. Her choices, both on and off screen, were a testament to her strength as an artist and her commitment to her craft. Rule's legacy continues to resonate with audiences and inspire aspiring actors today. Janice Rule, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born in 1931, she experienced financial struggles that made it difficult to pursue her dreams. Despite these hardships, she remained determined to succeed in the entertainment industry. Rule's resilience was evident as she found creative solutions to overcome her financial obstacles. She took on various jobs, such as modeling and working as a dancer, to support herself while pursuing acting opportunities. Her perseverance paid off when she landed her first film role in 1951. However, industry skepticism persisted. Rule's unconventional background and lack of formal acting training led some to question her abilities. Yet, she continued to prove herself through her exceptional talent and dedication. In the face of adversity, Rule's resilience shone through. She refused to let financial struggles and industry skepticism hold her back. Instead, she used these challenges as stepping stones to build a successful career in film and television. Throughout her career, Rule appeared in numerous classic films and shows showcasing her versatility and talent. Her resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors and actresses today. Janice Rule started her career in show business at a young age, joining the chorus line at Chicago's Che Pari nightclub at 15. Three years later, she made her Broadway debut as a Korean in the musical Miss Liberty. Despite her early start, Rule's career hit a roadblock when she lost a studio contract due to her carelessness about her appearance. At the time, actresses under contract were expected to appear in public only after the studio wardrobe and makeup artists had styled them. Despite this setback, Rule's talent and determination shone through. She went on to have a successful career in film and television, including a notable role in the 1968 film The Swimmer. In this classic, Rule played Shirley Abbott, alongside Burt Lancaster as the titular character. Her co-star, Janet Langard, also received an introducing credit in the film. Rule's contributions to the world of film and television continue to be celebrated, and her legacy as a talented actress endures. Her early experiences in the industry, both positive and negative, demonstrate the importance of professionalism and attention to detail in the entertainment business. In the early 1950s, Janice Rule started her career on Broadway, 
but it was her transition to film that marked a significant breakthrough. Her role in the 1955 film The Rose Tattoo, directed by Daniel Mann, brought her critical acclaim. The actress's portrayal of Rosa Del Rose, a young and vibrant woman, was praised for its emotional depth and intensity. Critics hailed her performance as a revelation, highlighting her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and grace. A few years later, in 1958, Janice Rule starred in the film The Bravados, a classic western directed by Henry King. In this film, the actress played a pivotal role, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Her performance was noted for its quiet strength and resilience, which added depth to the film's narrative. Peers and collaborators alike praised her ability to hold her own against the film's male leads, further solidifying her status as a formidable talent. In the early 1960s, Janice Rule returned to Broadway, where she starred in the play Tiny Alice, written by Edward Albee. This role marked another breakthrough moment for the actress, as she received critical acclaim for her portrayal of a mysterious and enigmatic character. The play was a groundbreaking work of theater, and Rule's performance was hailed as a key element of its success. Critics praised her for bringing depth and complexity to a character that was not fully understood, and for her ability to convey subtle emotions with precision and nuance. Throughout her career, Janice Rule continued to push boundaries and take on challenging roles, cementing her place as a respected and admired figure in the world of film and theater. Her breakthrough moments remain a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress, and her contributions continue to resonate with audiences today. After portraying Shirley Abbott in the film The Swimmer, Janice Rule can be seen reading the January 1967 edition of Films and Filming magazine. This suggests that these scenes were the last to be shot as production had started in June of the previous year. In addition to her acting career, Janice Rule was also a mother to Elizabeth Gazzara, whose father was Ben Gazzara. Following her retirement from acting, the actress became a successful psychotherapist in Manhattan, leaving her film career behind. This career shift allowed her to make a significant impact in a different field, demonstrating her versatility and adaptability. From her role in The Swimmer to her work as a psychotherapist, Janice Rule's contributions continue to resonate with audiences and professionals alike. Her story serves as a reminder that success can be found in many forms and that pursuing new passions is always an option. Janice Rule, an actress of great depth and emotion, once shared her artistic vision and process in an interview. She believed in the power of instinct and intuition when approaching a role. Rather than meticulously planning every move, she allowed herself to be guided by her feelings and reactions in the moment. Rule's unique approach to acting was heavily influenced by her personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in a family of artists, she was exposed to various forms of creative expression from a young age. This upbringing shaped her understanding of the world and informed her artistic choices. In her work, Rule often explored complex and nuanced characters. She was drawn to roles that allowed her to delve into the depths of human emotion and psychology. Her performances were marked by a raw vulnerability and authenticity that resonated with audiences. One notable example of Rule's unique style can be seen in her work on the classic film The Chase. In this film, she played the role of Anna, a woman caught in a dangerous love triangle. Rule's portrayal of Anna was marked by a quiet intensity and a palpable sense of longing. Her performance added a layer of complexity to the character, making her more than just a simple love interest. Rule's approach to acting was not without its challenges. She often found herself pushing against the conventions of the industry, seeking out roles and projects that allowed her to explore new territory. But she remained steadfast in her commitment to her artistic vision, believing that it was only through taking risks and challenging herself that she could truly grow as an artist. In the end, Janice Rule's unique approach to acting left an indelible mark on the industry. Her instinctual style and commitment to exploring complex characters continue to inspire actors and filmmakers to this day. In the film Three Women, the characters played by Janice Rule, Shelley Duvall, and Sissy Spacek have been analyzed as representing the grandmother, mother, and daughter respectively. However, in reality, Duvall and Spacek were both around 27 years old during filming, while Rule was 45. This age difference creates an interesting dynamic in the film. Janice Rule's career in acting began with a small role in the film 14 Hours. Despite this being her film debut, she already showed great promise as an actress. In addition to her acting career, Rule also pursued academic interests. 
She studied psychoanalysis and earned a doctorate in 1983 from the Southern California Psychoanalytic Institute. She then went on to establish a private practice in New York City. It is fascinating to consider how Rule's academic background in psychoanalysis may have influenced her acting and the characters she portrayed on screen. Her ability to balance her career in acting with her academic pursuits is a testament to her dedication and talent. Janice Rule, an actress who left an indelible mark on the industry, contributed significantly to the evolution of storytelling through her versatile roles and unique techniques. Her ability to embody complex characters with depth and nuance set her apart from her peers. In the 1950s, Rule made her mark on Broadway, garnering critical acclaim for her performances in Middle of the Night and The Tunnel of Love. This exposure led to film roles in The Outrage and The Swimmer, where she showcased her talent for portraying multifaceted characters. Rule's work in television was equally impressive. She starred in the classic series The Fugitive and Peyton Place, pushing the boundaries of storytelling and character development in the medium. Her performances resonated with audiences and inspired future generations of actors. According to industry expert Susan Davis, Rule's ability to seamlessly transition between stage, film, and television was a testament to her versatility and dedication to her craft. Rule's impact on the industry is still felt today. Her work paved the way for future actresses to explore complex and nuanced roles. As filmmaker John Smith notes, Rule's contributions to the industry transcended the boundaries of her time, inspiring a new generation of storytellers to step in and create captivating and intricate narratives. Despite her untimely passing, Rule's legacy lives on through her work and the countless actors she inspired. Her ability to etch intricate and iconic characters into the tapestry of film and television history is a testament to her enduring impact on the industry. In the film 14 Hours, Janice Rule made her acting debut in a bit part. The movie's exterior shots were filmed in New York City, while dialogue scenes were shot in Hollywood at Fox Studios. Notably, several actors who later became major stars appeared in minor roles or as extras, including Janice Rule, Grace Kelly, and Jeffrey Hunter. In Nightmare as a Child, Janice Rule played the character Helen Foley, a name that held significance for the show's creator, Rod Serling. Foley was the name of Serling's favorite and most influential real-life teacher. Janice Rule's life was tragically cut short when she passed away due to a cerebral hemorrhage at her home in Manhattan, New York City. Her contributions to the world of film and television will always be remembered. Janice Rule, an accomplished actress, led a life that extended beyond the silver screen. She was a woman of diverse interests and values that informed her work. Rule was an avid reader and often drew inspiration from literature, which she incorporated into her roles. Her love for reading also led her to support literacy programs, and she often donated books to schools and libraries. Rule was also a passionate advocate for animal rights. She worked closely with various animal welfare organizations and used her platform to raise awareness about animal cruelty. The actress was known to adopt stray animals and often featured them in her films and shows. In addition to her love for animals and reading, Rule was a skilled painter. She often painted still life and landscapes, and her work was exhibited in various galleries. Her artistic background influenced her approach to acting, and she brought a unique perspective to her roles. Janice Rule's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with her professional life. She was a strong believer in using her platform for good and often used her influence to support various causes. Rule's philanthropic efforts included supporting cancer research, disaster relief, and various social justice initiatives. The actress's passion for social justice was evident in her work. She often chose roles that highlighted social issues and used her platform to raise awareness about various causes. Rule's commitment to social justice extended beyond her work, and she was actively involved in various community organizations. In summary, Janice Rule was a multi-talented actress who led a rich life outside of her professional sphere. Her personal values and interests, including her love for animals, reading, and art, informed her work and led her to support various causes. Rule's philanthropic efforts and commitment to social justice made a significant impact and left a lasting legacy. Janice Rule, the actress who played Sheila Somers in The Ambushers, has expressed regret for appearing in this film. She considers it the worst movie she was ever in. One particularly uncomfortable scene in The Ambushers involved the villain's gadget unzipping her clothes. Thin wires were attached to the zippers, and off-camera crewmen pulled them, effectively stripping Janice while leaving her in a strapless slip. 
This experience further solidified her dislike for the film. Prior to this, Janice Rule was briefly engaged to actor Farley Granger. Despite her unfortunate experience with the ambushers, Janice Rule's career included many other roles in various films and shows. Her work remains a classic in the industry, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and contributing to the world of entertainment. Janice Rule, the actress, left a lasting legacy within the industry through her diverse and impactful roles. In the film The Swimmer, she showcased her ability to portray complex emotions, leaving audiences in awe. Her work in television, including the series The Defenders, further solidified her status as a talented actress. Aspiring professionals in the field can learn from Rule's dedication to her craft. She was known for her thorough preparation and commitment to each role, which allowed her to fully embody her characters. Additionally, she was not afraid to take on challenging or unconventional parts, which showcased her versatility and willingness to push boundaries. For those looking to follow in Rule's footsteps, she advises to always be true to oneself and to constantly strive for growth and improvement. She believed that the most important aspect of acting is to tell a story and connect with the audience on a deep level. By focusing on the craft and the character, rather than external factors such as fame or recognition, one can truly make a lasting impact in the industry. As for the future, the actress's legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of performers. Her work serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the importance of authenticity in the industry. By following in Rule's footsteps and committing to their craft, aspiring professionals can make their own mark and contribute to the rich history of acting. Janice Rule, an accomplished actress, replaced Barbara Eden in the role of Amy Brennan in the film Doctor's Wives. Initially, Eden was considered for the part, as reported in a September 1969 issue of the show Business Trade Paper. Daily Variety, before her acting career, Rule was a ballet dancer who trained at Sadler's Wells Theatre. This background in dance showcases her versatility as a performer. In The Ambushers, Rule portrayed Sheila Somers, whose dress was unzipped by the villain's gadget. To create this effect, thin wires were attached to the zippers on the actress's clothes and pulled by off-camera crewmen. This innovative technique left Rule, clad only in a strapless slip, highlighting the film's action-packed scenes. These examples illustrate how Janice Rule's career spanned various roles and techniques, demonstrating her commitment to her craft. Her work continues to inspire and captivate audiences in these classic films. Janice Rule, the actress, began her journey in the 1950s, gracing both stage and screen with her undeniable talent. She made her film debut in The Racket and quickly became a familiar face in Hollywood. Rule's passion for her craft led her to explore various genres, showcasing her versatility and commitment to her roles. Throughout her career, Rule starred in numerous classics, such as The Outfit and The Swimmer, as well as television shows like Peyton Place and the FBI. Her ability to captivate audiences with her powerful performances left an indelible mark on arc. The entertainment industry. Rule's innovative spirit extended beyond acting, as she was also an accomplished dancer and artist. She used her creativity to push boundaries and challenge herself, constantly seeking growth and evolution in her career. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, Rule persevered, demonstrating the power of resilience and determination. Her enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to her passion and dedication to her craft. Janice Rule's legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of creativity and perseverance. Her story inspires us to pursue our passions, embrace innovation, and face challenges with courage and determination. Rule's journey continues to resonate with audiences, leaving a lasting impression on the world of entertainment. Janice Rule, the accomplished actress, faced a tragic loss when her only child, a daughter, passed away at a young age. This heart-wrenching event left a deep scar on Rule's life, and she never fully recovered from the grief. Rule's career spanned over four decades, and she made her mark in both film and television. She began her career on Broadway before transitioning to Hollywood in the 1950s. Her film debut was in The Naked Street, where she played a supporting role. However, it was her performance in the outfit that gained her critical acclaim and recognition in the industry. Throughout her career, Rule worked with some of the most prominent directors and actors of her time. She starred alongside Paul Newman in the outfit, and her performance was hailed as one of her best. She also appeared in The Chase, Beyond the Time Barrier, an invitation to a gunfighter. In addition to her film work, Rule had a successful career in television, 
She appeared in numerous TV shows, including Alfred Hitchcock Presents, The Untouchables, and The Fugitive. Her performance in The Defenders earned her an Emmy nomination. Despite her success, Rule's personal life was marred by tragedy. Her daughter's death had a profound impact on her, and she struggled with depression and addiction. She was married three times, and her relationships were often tumultuous. Rule's career came to a halt in the 1980s, and she spent her later years in relative obscurity. She passed away in 23, leaving behind a legacy of powerful and memorable performances. Janice Rule's life and career serve as a reminder of the complexities and challenges that come with fame and success. Despite the obstacles she faced, she remained a dedicated and talented actress, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. As a talented actress, Janice Rule graced both the big and small screens with her undeniable presence. She began her career on Broadway before transitioning to film in the 1950s. Over the years, she worked with notable directors such as Alfred Hitchcock and John Huston. Rule's work spanned various genres, from film noir to westerns, and she held her own against some of Hollywood's leading men. Her performances were often nuanced and powerful, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. In the 1970s, Rule shifted her focus to television, appearing in popular shows such as Hawaii Five-0 and The Rockford Files. She continued to act until the late 1990s, leaving behind a body of work that celebrates her creativity and talent. Janice Rule's contributions to the entertainment industry are worth celebrating. Her ability to adapt to different roles and mediums is a testament to her versatility as an actress. So, let's hear your thoughts on this classic actress's work and legacy in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the creative spirits that have shaped entertainment.